Let's take a look at using Minitab to conduct a two-way analysis of variance of replicated data. We have data in a spreadsheet that's embedded in this PowerPoint document, and we have uh, three different pressures, high, medium, and low pressure, and three temperatures, high, medium, and low, and the numbers recorded in this spreadsheet are defects. I'm going to double-click on this spreadsheet, and it will open with all the data selected, and I'm going to press Control C to copy that data. Then I'm going to go to Mini tab. I'll put the cursor at the top of column one and press Control V, and that will then fill the spreadsheet. And I'm going to just call this Temp to give the column a label. Now, this is not in the form that Minitab wants it to be in. What Minitab wants to conduct a two way analysis of variance is a column with the first variable, another column with the second variable, and a third column with the actual data, in this case the defect counts. So I want a column for pressure, a column for temperature, and a column for defects. To get the pressure data in the correct format, I'm going to go to Minitab's data menu, and I'm going to choose Stack Columns. When that dialog box opens up, you see I've already selected the columns high, medium, and low pressure as the columns I want to stack. And I want to put the data in a column labeled defects, and the subscripts are going to be the column names, and they'll go in a column called pressure. When I click OK, Minitab creates this data in the proper format. So I have 15 values for high pressure. Uh, 15 for medium and 15 for low, and these defect counts correspond to these three columns. Now I need to create another column with the temperature data. And you see I have three different temperatures, and high temperature applies to these five observations from high pressure, these five from medium pressure, and these five from low pressure. So I need to have high temperature listed for the first five values, and then from values number 16 to 20 and so on. So to do that, I'm going to go to Minitab's Calc menu and I'm going to tell it I want to make pattern data and I want the data to be text values. And I want to store these values in a column called temperature and what I want are three values, high, medium, and low, and I want each value to be listed three times or five times and I want the entire sequence of values to be listed three times. And when I click OK, Minitab will then create a temperature column with the data in the proper format. So the first three values, I'm sorry, the first five values are high pressure and high temperature. They are 39 through 25. You see that that's correct. And the second five values are at high pressure uh, and a medium temperature. They start with 38 and go to 35, so I have 38 to 35, high pressure and medium. And then the last five values in the high pressure column will correspond to low temperature and so on. Now I'm going to the stat menu. I'm going to choose ANOVA. And I want to do a two-way ANOVA. And the response I want to analyze is defects. The row factor will be pressure and the column factor will be temp. And I might as well display the means. And we'll just check, uh, we'll leave all the default settings and click OK. And you get your two-way analysis of variance, which will appear in the session window. And here's our data analysis.